concrete is the second most abundant material on the planet after water. Because of that, concrete is the literal backbone of society. It's what allows us to build up and build out. But because we use so much concrete, cement, the critical ingredient in concrete, is responsible for about 7% of the world's CO2 greenhouse gas emissions. My name is Christy Gamble. I'm the Senior Director of Sustainability for Carbon Cure Technologies. My name is Jonathan Moser. I'm the Head of Environment and Public Affairs at Lafarge, Canada. Carbon Cure and Lafarge have embarked on a pilot project at the Lafarge Winterburn facility in Edmonton, a project that could change the way we build everything from roads to skyscrapers to whole cities. We've been working with Carbon Cure over the last two years, uh, enabled through the ERA grand challenge and that was really the catalyst for us to look at the installation of the carbon cure system here at our winter burn plant. Well carbon cure's vision is to be the global leader in CO2 utilization solutions for the cement and concrete sector. We're on a mission to reduce 500 megatons of CO2 annually. The way that we do that is we've developed a technology that gets installed in ready mix concrete plants And our technology utilizes CO2 in a beneficial way for the manufacturing of concrete. Let's take a look at Carbon Cure's technology. Carbon Cure takes carbon dioxide that would have gone into the atmosphere and injects it into concrete while it's being mixed. That carbon dioxide is delivered to and stored at a concrete plant in a large pressurized tank. While the concrete is being mixed, Carbon Cure's system pulls the CO2 from that tank and delivers a precise dosage into the concrete. Once it's introduced into the concrete mix, the CO2 reacts with calcium and converts into a calcium carbonate material trapped inside. What would have been pollution is turned into a mineral that's permanently embedded in the concrete. And the best part? The CO2 mineralization process improves the compressive strength of the concrete. It makes it stronger. So at the end of the day, concrete end users, the architects, the contractors, the building and infrastructure developers are able to get concrete that meets the same performance standards, but now with a reduced carbon footprint. Lafarge is such a big entity and Lafarge wholesome even larger with 80,000 people in 80 countries. We know there's uh, more attention now than ever on climate change, the impacts of climate on our everyday lives. We have products uh, that can address these issues, but we don't have all the solutions. So that's why it's important for us to collaborate with partners like Carbon Cure to meet this growing infrastructure demand across the world, across Canada, and even here locally in our Edmonton market. For 10 years, ERA has been accelerating the development of clean technology solutions that benefit Alberta and the world. In 2017, Carbon Cure received $3 million as part of Emissions Reduction Alberta's Grand Challenge. They were given two years to demonstrate a path towards commercialization and a one megaton net GHG reduction in Alberta. Carbon Cure made great strides, and now they've been awarded another $5 million as part of the last phase of ERA's Grand Challenge, of which they are one of two winners. Carbon Cure is very fortunate to be a long-term partner of Emissions Reduction Alberta's Grand Challenge. And if we can marry business-friendly solutions with carbon reductions and carbon utilization, we're going to create a better atmosphere and demand for further reductions in CO2.